2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honest to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the Brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And this lesson here is in the book of 2 Timothy, the third chapter. All right, Lord's willing. Uh, I want to go through the whole chapter. It's very short. All right, but very edifying pertaining to these times. So it says this also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. All right, and the last days started when Yahweh Shai came on the scene 2,000 years ago. But we're in the last few days of prophecies, all right? The final prophecies being fulfilled, okay? Which is the mark of the beast, which is the microchip, all right? Any device that uh, goes on underneath the skin, transmitting information from one device to another, okay? Becoming a transhuman, whether you take a narrow link in the brain, or a, a microchip in your arm, all right? That is the mark of the beast, okay? You have a famine of food and water, you know, hyperinflation is arising, you know, it's, it's talks on uh, various articles on how this summer will be a hot summer, all right? And um, you have the, the beef, the beef of uh, the brewing of World War Three. Okay, you have um, the sedition among men, the sedition among men, which will happen. Okay, the uh, civil unrest, martial law. All right, basically in a nutshell, Jacob's trouble. Okay, because we're in the end of Esau's kingdom, where Esau will lose rulership and dominion over the earth. And Jacob is up next that riseth. All right, because Jacob have the birthright. Jacob have the blessing. All right. The kingdom of heaven is given to Jacob through Yahweh Shai. So it says this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. All right. And the word perilous, quick definition search, something that is perilous is very dangerous. A perilous journey across a war zone, the road grew even steeper and more perilous. All right. So the word perilous means dangerous. So we're in dangerous times. All right. So what side of the fence do you stand on? All right. So anyway, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers, of those that are good, all right? And you have a lot of those today with this degenerate gen generation. Well, Yahweh Shai called it the adulterous sinful generation, okay? You have a lot of these individuals which uh, pick up these traits, which is of, uh, for men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. All right. It says traitors, uh, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh. And that's all going on right now. You know, wickedness is at an all time high. OK. It says having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof for such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lay captive silly women, Latin with sins and laid away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. And that's heavy. All right. Because you have false prophets. You have false prophets, false uh, teachers who come in sheep's clothing. All right. But are nothing more than just wolves, man looking to ra ra ravish their prey, all right? So it says, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. So let me go back to verse six. It says, for the sort 
Are they which creep into houses and lay captive silly women, Latin with sins led away with diverse lusts? All right, speaking things that they are not to. You know, in the prime example, you have um, uh, one leader who's been around for many years, which is the leader of ISUPK, and his name is General Yohanna. All right, and he's a false prophet. You know, he's waxing worse, waxing worse. All right. You know, there's a video going out, which, you know what, let me play the video. You know, let me jump jump gear and play this video here from Elder Apostle Tahar's page in which he put up. And it says, General Yohanna, you broke my heart. All right, so let's play this video. A lot of you have been such fools for the idea of the microchip being the mark of the beast. You've been such so blind to it. You were so easily fooled. All somebody had to do is say the microchip is the way you get the is it's how you get the mark of the beast. You put that chip in you, that's your forehead in your hand. It's ridiculous, man. It is absolutely the ridiculous. You think God cares that you put a microchip in your body? You think God cares that you put a microchip in your body? You think God cares? You think God cares? You think God cares? You think God cares? You got a microchip on your phone, a microchip in everything that you have has a microchip. Because I know I got Yahweh behind. They came out with it. Uh, my internet is not working, so, you know, I'm going to skip the video here. But I know brother seen that video, you know, going out with him waxing worse, you know, saying that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast and basically saying, you know, what he said in the video was, um, do you think God cares if you stick a microchip in your arm? You know, and that's clearly, you know, being misinformed or purposely you know, put together to deceive you, you know, and we think here, you know, at Great Millstone that that guy is uh, purposely deceiving, you know, he might have took that Judas person, sold the hell out, you know, and it's just really showing, you know, in his actions and the things that he says and does, you know, so anyway, let's get back to the lesson, it says ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth, so ever learning, but never able to to come to the truth, the knowledge of truth, because why? Wisdom does not dwell in a malicious soul, okay? So that's why they can't get into this knowledge of truth. You know, the Lord is basically blocking them, you know, so they can't get it. Have that angel to block their understanding. So verse 8, it says, Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. So you have men just as well as Janus and Jambres, all right, that withstood Moses, okay, going back in um, the book of Exodus where Moses was performing miracles to influence Pharaoh, all right, the, the, the king. And uh, these two characters, which was uh, using enchantments, you know, going in, you know, they was basically going into that, uh, the Babylonian Talmud and knowing black magic, they, they all stayed, they stopped the influence of, uh, Pharaoh believing in the most High's power. All right. So it says now in Janus and Jambres withstood Moses. So do these also resist the truth. So you got guys out there who's in the same like-minded of these two guys. All right. They always resisting the truth. And this is why you have brothers, you know, well, let me say, start with my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, you have spiritual fathers, you know, teachers, elders, all right, who constantly defend the gospel, all right, and push the truth. Because you got demons that will put lies upon the Lord's name. So it says, so do these resist the truth. And those guys like... ISUPK and General Yohanna, they resist the truth no matter how much you correct them. It says men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. All right. Corrupt minds reprobate. All right. Mean being void of judgment, thinking that they're not going to be destroyed. 
concerning the faith, because that's what this thing about. It's about faith. Verse nine, but they shall proceed no further for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. But thou has fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience. So that's what this thing is about. Okay. It's about the doctrine, the true doctrine, the 100% doctrine, manner of life. What's the scripture say? The whole duty of man is to serve the Lord. It says manner of life, purpose. What's your purpose of your existence? You know, what are you here for? Uh, faith. You know, it's, it's a must. In order to uh, have faith, you must fear the Lord. Long suffering, which means to suffer. Okay, because you got to have patience. Charity. You know, being honest and true with brethren and being brotherly. And it says patience, which means to suffer. It says persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me in Antioch at Iconium, at Lastra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all, the Lord delivered me. So Paul, okay, he was delivered from all of these persecutions. Okay. He was delivered from all of these persecutions. Matter of fact, if this is not Paul, this is Timothy. All right. So Salakia. But either way, they were delivered out of all persecutions. It says, yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahawashai, shall suffer persecution. And that's heavy, you know, because, you know, don't think that. You know, you're not going to be tried or, or purified. Being purified is to have your oil pressed, you know, meaning to suffer. And whatever suffers we have to go through, we have to bear it, accept it, and take it, you know, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because the Lord is going to truly make us perfect, you know. So it says, yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shai Mashiach shall suffer persecution. So whether you're here now or later, all right, every one of the Lord's elect at one point suffered persecution. It says, verse 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And that's those guys, man. You know, I wanted to pull up the video, but I don't have internet service, you know. And uh, it's not just General Yohanna, but even other leaders, all right, false prophets who've been sent by Satan. Well, they've been sent by the Most High, but do, you know, the will, of the excuse me, they've been sent by the will of the Most High, but through the left-hand side of Satan, all right, to deceive you. So it says, but evil men, because they always been evil. It says, and seducers shall wax worse and worse. As a matter of fact, let's just see what this word seducer means. A seducer is someone, usually a man, who seduces someone else. All right. It says he is a, he is proud of his reputation as a seducer of young women. Yeah. I right. Let me get a better definition here. Let me go into the blue letter. Let's just see. Seducer. Strong's G, 1114. Guys. Guys. A wailer, a howler, a juggler, a chanter, because the incantations used to be uttered in a kind of how a deceiver imposter. All right. So a seducer is an imposter, a deceiver, someone that's that's good at deceiving you. You know, being seducing you so that you, you know, you're having your ego stroke to sort of say, all right, you know, making you feel good to believe in a lie. It says properly a wizard. Yeah, a seducer is a wizard who casts spells. You know, he's an imposter. You know, the scriptures say even um Satan, even Satan um can appeal as a glorious light. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. And I'll leave that precept in the uh, post-production. So let's go back. It says, um, <clears throat> verse 14, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned 
and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou has learned them. All right. So us of the whole four elect, we have to continue in the things which we have learned and has been assured of, meaning having a full assurance of faith, which is believing in these scriptures, man, as his word have said. All right. You know, believe in the breakdowns, the prophecies. It says, knowing of whom thou has learned them. And we learn them from great men. Okay. Great spiritual men who are in the flesh, you know, to teach us the ways of salvation. All right. And how to manner ourselves in these last days. It says, verse 15, in that from a child thou has known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, all scriptures is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of the Most High may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. All right. So we have to remain, you know, in the, in the, in the truth in which we learned it. All right. It says all scriptures is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine. You know, so this word is profitable for doctrine. It's profitable for reproof. It's profitable for correction and instructions in righteousness. All right. This is a book of righteousness. You know, this book uh, for us of the whole four elect is an instructions of righteousness. It says that the man of the most high may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. All right, because why? This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So, you know, this is the letter uh, written. I believe, is it Paul writing to Timothy? Or it could be Timothy writing it. I have to look it up, Salakia. But this is a letter written for our learning. You know, the scriptures say, um, uh, these, these scriptures are written for our learning. All right, so, and it's definitely for these times. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.